Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for stopping by to check out another check in video from Input Mapper. Um, weird format again this week. Uh, I'm shooting on one of my handheld cameras because uh, my PC, well, actually, my PC is not here anymore. Um, I've swapped out PCs for one of the ones that I use at work, which is uh, a lot more powerful because uh, I do a lot of work from home. I needed some more beefy. Uh, equipment here so brought one home um, so I'm still getting all the software installed back on here uh, restoring all my backup files and all that and that's always like a week-long process of making sure I get everything installed and all the right versions and all the files are in the right folder locations it's a headache so it shut me down for uh, a while and I'm just now getting to a point where it's almost a usable computer again uh, so um, but I did want to, you know, I did want to check in and touch base and uh, kind of let you guys know uh, a couple things I've been, you know, keeping an eye on. Um, one of the things is it looks like a lot of people have been reporting issues with exclusive mode. Um, and uh, I just ran the application myself to take a look and it looks like Microsoft did release something that broke exclusive mode again. Um, yeah, so the... The last workaround we had, the uh, the disabling the device and re-enabling it, the uh, executable uh, little batch script, uh, none of those work anymore. Um, and I don't have a solution for it yet. And to be honest, uh, Microsoft has screwed this up for us so many times and it's such a pain in the ass to be constantly trying to uh, work around all their shitty ideas and you know stuff they throw at us that it's uh, at this point I'm probably gonna just wash my hands of it um, because uh, it looks like Benjamin has some really promising work going on as far as the HID Guardian um, and that looks to be an actual uh, solution uh, and not just a hack like we've been going through um, what it is it's a driver that will install to the Vite install to the device and any application that tries to connect to that device it'll tell it no except for you know approved applications like input mapper and other uh, you know anything else that's on like a whitelist so um, that's that's gonna be the solution that I'm gonna be using for input mapper 1.7 um, I'm gonna stop using all these silly scripts and all that stuff and uh, and unfortunately I mean it's it kind of leaves some of you guys in a limbo land that aren't ready to move over to 1.7 yet or that are using a Bluetooth device which uh, the HID Guardian doesn't work with yet but I mean the honest fact is I don't know what the solution is for it now and people are always saying that it's you know it's on input mapper um, and by extension me to you know make sure my applications compatible when Microsoft does this stuff and that's not really true because this application is uh, it's not a normal application I mean we're talking about pretty much like a hack or a workaround and you know it's built you know on a house of cards and the slightest breeze knocks it down um, and we saw this before with Windows 10 when the when they released the retail version Cortana freaking broke this application was has absolutely nothing to do with controllers or devices or anything but for some reason Cortana broke input mapper um, that got fixed uh, and then there was a couple other things uh, I think like the um, the network or something like that broke input mapper and then that got fixed um, so uh, it's it's a headache right now and uh, yeah 1.7 is just going to use the HID Guardian script um, it will have the capability to warn you if it if the device doesn't connect exclusively but beyond that it won't have any built-in measures to handle um, attempting exclusive mode access itself uh, so but on the flip side the HID Guardian um, from what I've been using so far um, I, like I said I can't use it with the Bluetooth but I do use it with the Sony official dongle and uh, via USB and it seems to be pretty pretty bulletproof um, it's worked every single time without a fuss uh, I connect the controller start up input mapper and it just works so uh, it's it's a pretty cool thing um, looking forward to getting that out there more widespread 
Uh, really looking forward to getting Input Mapper 1.7 more polished so more people can get their hands on it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can set up enough to get some uh, Tipsy Tuesday going on here. Uh, finish up. I got to be getting close to the end of Mass Effect 3, so I want to put another pretty, pretty big dent in it today. Uh, get a few hours in there and still try to hopefully finish that up before uh, Mass Effect 4 comes out or Andromeda. Alright guys, so that'll do it for this week. Y'all have a good one.